Yo, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to migrate your ERC-20 ML tokens over to MTC-1 Mint Lair mainnet. So I'm actually making this video because over on the Telegram and also Discord community, it seemed like all hell broke loose. Like everyone's like freaking out. They don't know where their tokens are. It's like so confusing. And I'm just going to answer a couple different, you know, questions that I just keep seeing over and over and over again. So I'm going to be answering that in this video. Let me just share a brief story though. One time I was driving in Montenegro and this is a small Balkan country and I ended up having food poisoning and I had to drive basically across the country uh, during this time because it was like a transition period of when I was switching my Airbnbs in the country anyways. Long story short, I was puking on the side of the road. It was just, it was horrible. I didn't really know where to go. I was just so confused. I was lost. And then eventually, by the time I got to the Airbnb of my destination, there was this old Montenegrin lady that looked at me and just said, relax, I will show you how. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Just relax, guys. I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, there's actually going to be eventually two ways to actually do this. There's as of right now, it's actually just one, but in the future, there will be two. So the first way will be via exchange withdrawals. So eventually, you know, if you have your, you know, your tokens on, you know, MEXC or wherever, on whichever exchange, you'll be able to click on the withdrawal function and then you'll be able to click on the actual network. And, you know, we have until 2026. So first of all, we have 24 months to actually migrate. So you have two years at this point. So that's why you can just relax. It's going to be okay. And it, it's really, you know, there's no point to actually rush this at all. So do not rush this. Do not click on any links uh, that you aren't really sure of to do this. And if you really don't know how to do this fully, then honestly, you might want to just leave them on an exchange. And then in the future, once there, you know, is support for mint layer in the mainnet, then withdraw via that function there. That's one of the options is via exchange withdrawals once those are supported. But obviously, this is going to take a while because mintlayer.org, the company is going to have to be contacting each and every single individual exchange, which is a long process, like the back end of exchanges and listings and figuring out networks and getting the proper uh, supply and all that, it's a little bit difficult. So first of all, if you are running Chrome, then you're just going to type in Mojito wallet and you'll see Mojito, a mint layer wallet. And also if you just want to be extra safe, you can go to the mintlayer.org website. And then from there, it'll leave a link to download the wallet via your Chrome. So that's what I've done. That's how I have set up my own wallet. Now, if you've downloaded this and you've installed it and you've set up a wallet and you need a tutorial on that, you probably should not be sending your coins over to Mojito Wallet because if you can't set up a crypto wallet and you need a tutorial on that, then yeah, you probably just should leave them on an exchange at that point, and that's okay. So here is the step-by-step -step guide. So first of all, you must have a mainnet MTC1 wallet address. To do this, like I said, you set up a Mojito wallet, and then from there, you will have your address, and you can easily click on send and receive. So for example, here, you'll see I just clicked on Mojito, and then from here, I can just click on Minlayer, and then from here, I can just send and receive via this. And when you click on receive, that's how you can copy and paste your mint layer address. So from there, you're going to go to token.mintlayer.org slash forward slash migration, which I will leave a link in the description below. So whatever you do, don't click on any links in the comment section as they could be spams or scams or whatnot. So you really have to be careful. Now with that, once you are there, it's going to look like this. And what you're going to do is connect to your MetaMask wallet because you should have your ERC20 tokens on MetaMask. Um, it's either MetaMask or Trust Wallet. Uh, you probably could use XDeFi as well, but I believe the recommendation is for MetaMask and Trust Wallet. So all you have to do is click on this button, and then from here you can connect to MetaMask and also Trust Wallet. And once you do that, then you'll be brought up to a prompt and you can sign and confirm that. And then from here, in order to get your mint layer address, all you have to do is click on the Mojito extension and click on mint layer, click on then receive. And from here, you can copy the address. I think in this video, I'm probably going to have my addresses blurred because I don't really want you guys to stalk my wallets on chain. Now, with that being said, from here, you can send over 
any specific amount, so whichever amount that you have. So for example, if you wanna send over 100, honestly, I would just recommend doing a test transaction for the first one. Don't send your entire bag. So just send you know a small amount at first. So for example, there, you can just click on 100. And then from here, you will be um, you know, asked to sign and also confirm the spending request. So in this case, it's going to be 100. I'm just gonna click on next. And then from here, you will have to approve the gas fee and then pay it. Now for me, I'm actually not going to be doing this right now. I'm not gonna go any further, but all you would have to do is just approve the transaction, sign it, and then from there, the migration process could take over 48 hours. I actually cannot uh, plug in my ledger right now to actually use because I'm using it for this camera. But if I could, then I would just easily plug it in and then just sign the transaction via my ledger. So one thing to note as well, is there's just a ton of people that seem to want to get their you know their tokens on the main net instantly personally i don't because as of right now there is no way to be able to swap your ml mainnet tokens or sorry coins over to for example bitcoin or any other asset like usdc or usdt like there's no other way to actually swap your tokens and coins uh, right now. So, you know, that's, that's honestly a big problem for me. I want to have the liberty to be able to easily swap or sell my tokens when I can. So as of right now, I'm actually just going to wait. I've sent some over to do a, tr a test transaction to see, you know, that I can actually do it. And it worked. It took less than 24 hours. I believe it took around eight hours to do. And yeah, it was super simple to do as you guys could see here via this process. And like I said, I'm going to just continue to hold on to ERC20 tokens uh, for the time being until it is supported on, you know, possibly tier one exchanges and or there is a swap function via the Mojito wallet. Once that's enabled, then it's going to be no problem and I'll be able to send the rest over to the mainnet. But as of right now, I am going to hold on to my bag and I'm not going to be, you know, migrating the rest of them over as I just don't really see the point right now right? And so if you have your, you know, your tokens right now on an exchange, at this point, you might as well just probably wait and wait it out until the mainnet uh, withdrawal function is actually enabled. Because as of right now, you have the liberty, uh, well, I guess not technically on the exchange, because they're not really your coins, right? Not your keys and not your crypto. But at the same time, if they are on exchange, you have the liberty to be able to sell it. So that's that's honestly important. Now, I'm not advocating that you sell your tokens or coins immediately, but if there's any, you know, issue and you want to be able to send, swap, etc. via ERC20, then as of right now you have the liberty to still do so. And so that's for me, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to still hold on to my ERC20 tokens. Anyways, guys, that's really all I have for this video. Um I also think too I don't know if I want to, you know, have all of my coins on the Mojito wallet. I would rather there be a function via Ledger or also Tangem, and then for me to be able to send it to that address when it's on Tangem or on Ledger. For me, that's just a little bit easier to manage and just, you know, store my crypto that way. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for this one. You know, if you're freaking out about withdrawing, sending, migrating, etc., just relax. It's going to be okay.